I'm Brett, and today we've got another update on the Focus ST, and we're about to do a dyno run, and we'll give you an update um, when we finish the dyno run. So I'll walk outside the dyno room, and um, we'll have a bit of a chat so we can talk about what we've done. It's a bit noisy in there. So, we've done quite a bit of dyno testing on the ST and we're also doing some work on the uh, RS. Of course, the ST is the two litre uh, engine, front wheel drive only. And this particular car, we did some testing on the other car, factory standard. And then we did some testing with a custom tune using race ROM technology. And I've got some data here I want to talk about. What we've just done now is another test back to back with a modified exhaust system. And we're going to do another test again this afternoon with some custom tuning to see what an air intake makes. Because of course we want to work out what the parts are that will give us a deliverability of the performance. And at the moment it's pretty clearly obvious the exhaust system on this particular model does work. It's important to point out that not every car always benefits from an exhaust modification. So let's talk about some absolute facts here when it comes to the Focus ST. So this is the two litre EcoBoost front wheel drive range. Here we are 2017. Um, it's a uh, four cylinder obviously, double overhead camshaft with variable valve control, four, uh, four uh, valves per cylinder, factory standard 9.3 um, to one compression ratio. Now Ford quote, 184 kilowatts at five and a half thousand RPM and three and torque 340 Newton meters at four and a half thousand RPM. Now the other day when we did initial testing it was quite a hot day so some of the comparisons are a little bit skewed but I can say that the power on our dyno being a hub dyno comes in at 160 kilowatts at four and a half thousand RPM as opposed to factory rated flywheel power of 184 at 5,500 RPM. We then do a custom tune, no other mechanical mods, and we still come in at the same peak power, but the power comes in much earlier, as you'll see on the dyno graph, at 3,300 RPM. Now, one of the biggest restrictions on this engine, it's got an absolutely tiny turbo, and the dyno graph will show with the exhaust system in particular, it comes on full boost so early, it's almost off the side of the graph at less than 2000 RPM. Now, the really interesting part, let's just stick to the data when we're talking about power. We then go and put an exhaust system on it, and we go from 160 kilowatts at the hubs to 176 at 4400 RPM, and prior to that, is the power comes in but after four and a half it just falls off a cliff because the turbo can't flow any more um, exhaust because it's such a tiny turbo and it's designed to come on boost very very early this is going to be an amazing car to drive on the road but let's get down to the torque there's an absolute torque monster factory rated torque 340 newton meters at four and a half thousand rpm we do a custom tune and we crank that up to 400 newton meters at 2000 rpm so we're going on an extra 60 Newton meters of torque. We're actually bringing it in two and a half thousand RPM earlier. Then we add an exhaust system and we go up to 440 Newton meters of torque at 2000 RPM. So let's put it in perspective, factory standard 340 with an exhaust and a custom MRT tune, 440, two and a half thousand RPM earlier. So look, we'll, Proof is in the pudding. We'll get the car on the road, do some more testing. The other thing I want you to understand, we're going to now put an air intake on it and we'll see if it makes a difference or not because not always on all cars does an air intake make a difference. It will sound different. You heard it then. The exhaust system sounds a lot different. But of course, this is the way to properly test parts. Amazing factory ECU, incredibly complex, lots of features to adjust, very similar to the engine ECU that's in the RS model. And... Um, We'll give you some more updates soon, but for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Make a comment on this video channel. Um, send us some uh, emails, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll give you some more updates soon. Bye for now.